Rob, what have we got here from Hi4 Shop that you're supplying? Uh, this side is the um, blue system from Matrix. So this is for the CMM side. How, how does it work? Uh, so the way it works, you've got spring pins. So you have these set up around your, your CMM area. So your component goes on top. So once you've got your form, it locks in place. This one we've got a work stop because it's on an angle. As soon as it's in place, then you can come around and do your measuring. When you then need to change over a part, if the part is different, um, then all you've got to do pins back up and away you go again. So they reset straight away. We've got three different examples here. This is this strikes me as a very sort of like modular system, is it? That is correct, Paul, yeah. Depending on the size of the components or what the customer's using, we do the big and we've got the small, but we do clamping kits, different angle plates, as you can see from the blocks. We are ones that spin around to make it a lot more easier for the guys to set up. And does this base plate come with it as well? Is that part? It is part of the kit, yes. So, so w w how, how big could you go? Do you just buy lots of small ones and bolt them together a bit like a Meccano set? Is that, is that the idea? That is the idea, Paul, yes. So you've got your standard plate here, so then depending on what, they, they, what kit they buy to start off with, we do different range from a small kit to an extra large kit, depending on the components. And then if they need anything extra afterwards, we sell them individually to, to bulk up their kit. So it kind of strikes me as looking at it here that it'd be for quite small components, but is that just because you're doing small parts on it? Could could, could it handle heavier heavier parts? Uh, it can do, Paul, yes. Um, so it wouldn't crush the pins? It wouldn't crush the pins, no. I mean, for the, for the show, we've obviously got small parts, but make sure of uh, a wide range of products. They've even got it holding up car doors to do the inspection. And they don't fall off once they're on, like you've just demonstrated there. Once it's on, it's pretty well fixed. That's correct, Paul, yes. If it's in the flat position, obviously, then you don't need anything else. Because we just had that one on the angle, mm. we've got the work support there to keep it in place. And you wouldn't use this on a machining centre then? Um, not the blue side, no. It's specifically for CMM. So if you're a CMM user, and you do have problems putting parts on CMM and keeping them in the right place, don't you? So this is a, an answer to this. Where, where can they find this? They can find this on high4.shop.